Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be playing some more Lumion Legacy. Now, if you didn't know, our creatures are actually damaged because I was doing a little bit of a, um, I had to redo the Duskit battle, so, yeah, there you go. So, anyway, we're going to be going, um, to Route 3 today, and also, um, we're going to be going just before the Sylvan City. So, yeah, we need to grind up Amphibian since he is actually a lower level than our Twiddle, and, ah, a traitor! <laughs> <laughs> this forest is creepy. Can you get us out quickly? Uh, yeah, probably. I, I don't, I don't know. Ash so would like to battle. Oh, it's a to Twittle. Uh, go, Becky! And, uh, yeah, Amphibian's dead, so we're gonna have to do this battle with just Becky. And, uh, we're actually pra paralyzed because, um, Dusk gets startled, um, I think can actually paralyze you. So, yeah, unfortunate. So, yeah, we're gonna go for the peck. Do damage. There we go. Now we're gonna do it for the pounce because he's on low HP and I wouldn't want to waste more stuff. So there we go. Dumb bird down. Becky game 55 XP. Alice would like to send in Twilight. Um, no, I'm not gonna switch. And here he comes! Now I actually want to heal here because um, I'm low on HP. So, yeah, there you go. We would die, I think, if that Twilight would hit us. He is stretched. That raises speed. That doesn't really matter that much. We're gonna go for another pack. Oh, he goes for gnaw. That hurts. Um, here we go. That does decent damage. And we're gonna go for the pack again. He goes for stretch again. Like, re really dumb. Why would you go for that again? You're already way, way faster than me. <laughs> already. It's waddle. What was our defense? That doesn't really matter that much since. Oh, come on. I'm paralyzed. Okay. I guess we have to wait to restore our G and wait what? You can you can or wait what? Or ener you can get on pot you can get paused by the energy? Um while par while you're paralyzed? Jeez, that was bad grammar. <laughs> but uh yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't know that. But anyway, he's out of energy. He's gonna have to um rest or wait here. And he decides to wait, so there we go. And I'm paralyzed again! Oh, the paralysis is coming at the end, isn't it? I see you, game! Nah, hurts! Peck kills! Didn't know why I didn't go with the pounce there. No, probably not possible. Becky grew to level 11! Alright, you can go. Yeah, there we go. And here we go. We're going to the Gale, or out of the Gale Forest, I should say. And there we go, we're gonna go in lettuce in a circle! We're gonna go back to the town of Ch Chesma Town. Yeah, we're going back to Chesma Town. Um, yeah, Chesma Town. Okay. So, we're gonna go heal our Lumians, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading to Route 2, which is right before Route 3. Um, you know, makes sense. I would also want to get another Lumion because I have done research and there's a Lumion that I want to catch on the next route. Which could actually be very, very cool if we actually got that. So anyway, yeah, there we go. There's a Dripple. I want to grind him up. Um, he, he's kind of bored. And, ah, run into a wall. <laughs> anyway, we are going to Route 2 and there is Route 1. I don't really want to go to Route 1. Go to the Route 2. That hammer sound effect. So. Ah! Pro possibly and most likely villains! I've never heard such a disrespectful, disrespectful group of kids. I'm going to have you talk with her parents. Don't bother. We aren't coming back. Yeah, we don't have time for this lame school. You can only become the Mabel's mom made her. We tagged along to support our friend. If she does, so do we. Well, in that case, don't- oh, okay, I don't really care about that one, because this is- Hey, are you from school? You look pretty weak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not weak. I could probably destroy you. Let's get out of here! And you can hear the water sound effect in the background. Um, yeah, it has pretty good sound effects. Uh, it doesn't even have any Lumions! Yeah, yeah. And now we are going into the school, even though I know tight matchups. Which, uh... You know, isn't that good because I already know type ups, so I'm gonna speed through your dialogue. 
You thought they were bad students? At least they actually listened to you. <laughs> Yeet. Okay. Probably should have read that so you guys would understand it, but you can look it up on the wiki. And uh, here we go. More water sound effects. God, that sound effect is good. Whoa. Anyway, we are heading out of town, but not into the forest. And not in Route 1. Route 2. And that music is kicking off. Oh, such good music. We actually have a quest over here. Hey there, Lumi Trader. Have you ever heard of Cynomoth? I'm trying to study one. Um, yeah. Uh, that's the evolution of Prope. So we don't have that, because I don't want a Prope. So we're going across this bridge, and oh my god, it has holes in it! How am I not falling through? Whoa! And then there's this, like, this one guy. Uh, do you even do anything? You don't even do anything! You can't just put a trainer there and just make him not do anything. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, there is actually a trainer here, so we're gonna be fighting that. And exclamation mark, the wave! Yeah, let's have a battle. Oh, are you in a hurry? Uh, I think I kind of am in a hurry. Uh, no, I'm not. Huh. <laughs> Sluggling! We'll actually get to see this guy later in the game, which is pretty cool. Although, unfortunately, he is a grass type, so... Um, our water attack will actually not be that good, so we're gonna have to... Whoa, a critical hit! And, ah, oh, god dang it, the paralysis again. That really sucks. Pedal pummel! That doesn't hurt. I thought that would hurt a lot more than it did. Huh, interesting. Strike him down! Waddle! Lower our defense! And the strike! And he's down. Sluggling down. One more to go. Fibby gang, 57 experience. But the toilet! No! I don't want to switch. In comes the toilet. We're gonna, this time, we can actually go for our spray, since, so you know. And he's already faster than us, and he's going for that, which is really good. I don't know why I would do that, but yeah, he's only level 6! Like, I think, like, the opponent should be at least, like, level 9 or 10, like what I am, but this game is just super easy. And the opposing Twilight fainted. Now, I don't think you guys want me to see me go back to the Pokemon, or the Lumi Center, just to heal on my Lumi, so I'll see you in a little bit! Okay, guys, we're back. I healed up um, our Dripple, or Dripple, our Amphibian. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna be going to Route 3. Oh, boy, very, very spicy gonna be super cool to go to Route 3. Now, there is actually a Lumion that I do want. So, uh, yeah, but it might be pretty rare to find because uh, and I don't want you guys to see how long it takes because I think you can find level 5 to 7 Lumions, and there is Gekko, an electric type. We don't really care about him. He kind of sucks at life. He doesn't matter. And there we go. So, I cut out the footage, and there is the Babor. Um, and, yeah, he has an ability called Boast, it's really bad. There we go, we have a Babor. I did actually find a lot of Babors before this, it was just, they were really, really low level, and, you know, I think this is the highest level Babor that we can find. As you can see, he has no legs! Or, actually, he does, but he only has two legs. Um, so, there we go, it's super duper weird. So we're going to be weakening this guy, he's going for the burrow, he's going to raise his melee defense, which, do, which actually is kind of annoying because I don't want to use my water attack or else he would die, and uh, ooh, that does not do that much damage. Yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, maybe do one more hit, see how much he does. My crit, crit! Oh, dang. So yeah, he's super low on health. He's not that low, but we have six capture discs. I'm kind of scared that we're not going to be able to get him. And in the ball he goes. A one! A two! A three! And there we go! We got our own little battle. How cute. Yes, we will give a name to him. Oh no. Oh god. Whenever I give a nickname to Illumian, I'm so bad at it. Uh... Yeah, I got What should this Babor be called? Mud... Mud... No... No... Mud... Bo... Ma... 
Mamba. There we go. Oh wait, it's a girl. Oh wait, I have the perfect idea. It's such a good idea, guys. Remember how I said it was a boar? Yeah, that thing isn't a boar. Like, yes, it is. It is a boar. Holy crap! I'm sorry. This is. I'm this. It's. I'm bad at it. But there we go, guys. That's not a boar. It's a giraffe. It's totally a giraffe. It's totally a giraffe. Guys, look at our giraffe. Man, look at our giraffe. He's so cool. He actually has a really crappy nature, but this isn't competitive Pokemon! Or Lumion! Competitive Lumion. God dang it, this game is just way too similar to Pokemon. I'm actually doing a playthrough of Pokemon right now, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we're healing up Giraffe. Ah, god dang it! When's a Lumion episode where we don't do that? It happens every god dang time. Anyway, we're gonna do some battles with our, um, our totally a giraffe. I swear, it's just for comedic effect. I'm not trying to be an idiot. But anyway, we have another trainer! Watch out for Lumians! They're cute, but deadly. Like my giraffe! <laughs> in comes Geklo! And in comes our giraffe! Look at him! He has such a long neck! And crap, this guy's ability is super bad, but we're gonna go for the chomp! He goes for the stare. What was our melee defense? That doesn't really matter. Actually, yeah, it does. Ooh, that did not do that much of damage. And it was super effective, too. Yeah. Spare! Basically the equivalent of, um, false swipe. It won't kill you, but it will get you to, like, 1 HP. So we go for shiny hunting. Really bad in battles. And he's gonna lower our melee defense again. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go for the chomp once again. Bro, I'm a ground type. Get good. Like, I'm a ground type. Like, do you really think that- Yeah, if you don't know, Pokemon, Electric, can't hit ground types. Just- just to sort of accept it, and since our giraffe, or totally a giraffe, is, um, a ground type, um, there you go. So anyway, there actually is a hidden item way up there, and it's totally gonna help us out. So we're gonna go up there and see if we can get that item. And we also have to fight a trainer. So, uh, yeah. I'm, also, I'm actually um, going to put Giraffe in the bench since he really didn't do that good in that battle. So, we're just going to put him in the bench, let, him, let her gain EXP. I always prefer. I love Lumions. And we have Shane would like to battle. In comes a Twittle. Level 8. Sheesh. Three Lumions? Wow, that's kind of ridiculous. Three Lumians and they're all level 8? Oh, a crit! What's not the crits today, Amphibian? Huh. Yeah, the Kabunga Coffee. Such a good item that you can get so early game. It's it's really OP. Bash! Twittle is defeated. Amphibian gained 63 EXP. Look at all that EXP. Another Twittle! Okay. Another level 8, another level 8. But yeah, that means um, if he would only have one creature, it would be level 11. If only he'd have one total, it would be level 11, which is actually higher level than our starter, which is pretty crazy. Die, fool! Yo, know, Amphibian gains 63 XP again! Good mm. XP. And more energy we get. Another Twiddle! What are you, a bird keeper? Why do you have three birds? It's ridiculous. Die, bird. Another crit! What is it today with the crits? I'm not complaining, but why? <laughs> why so many crits? And I don't have an ability that raises my crit chance. There we go. Twiddle is down. Another 63 XP, getting us to level 11! Pretty nice! Now, I think I may have to level up a lot, because uh, my creatures are only level um, 11, and I think the battle leader leader is like level 14, which is 
pretty crazy, in all honesty, because our Lumians are nowhere near that level. But anyway, yeah, you can see the little power mines below. We'll, we'll see those in a little bit. And as you can see, there's a green box. We're gonna go get that. As we always do when we get boxes, kick that box open. Get a boost token. Now, boost tokens are a special kind of item that I'm gonna show you what they do. So you go into Lumi Boost, and we have one boost. And we can up gleaming encounters, um, roaming and corrupt counters, experience gain, training points, and rally rate. Gleaming, gleaming Lumians are basically shinies, and there's also one more that is locked. So, as I just said, gleaming Lumians are basically shinies. I think I might do the EXP boost, since I'm not trying to get legendaries, I'm not trying to get shinies or gleams. So, I think I might just do EXP boost for um, our little bad boy, our little uh, giraffe. Yeah, our giraffe. Man. He's such a giraffe, he has such a long neck. Okay, I've probably taken this joke way too far at this point. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, we basically made no progress! And there's gonna be a lot more wild encounters. <gasps> oh, who man! Look at him or her. I don't know what gender it is. But there we go. Our, uh, one of our encounters with a human. If you are watching my video, which I don't know if you are, uh, one of my viewers, actually the one who we named the dodo after, Danny, um, that could be her, I, but I'm not so sure. Probably not. Um, but anyway, you're going into the grass and another Gaklo! Get real! There we go, Amphibian Runaway. So if you made it this far into the video, I think you're like a Lumian Legacy. Um, so, I would recommend subscribing. Not only so you get a benefit, but also I get a benefit, or you get a benefit because, or I get a benefit because I get more views and stuff like that, and I want my channel to grow, but you also get a benefit because, um, you get to see content like this, informational guides about ARC, and wow, we just o code that bad boy. but informational guides about ARC, and gameplay of specific games, um, so yeah, and it's not like we're just gonna play these two games, we're also gonna play other games. But anyway, in comes the ugliest Lumion of the game! Oh, he's so ugly! Put him out of his misery! <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, but... There we go. One hit. Goes for the brace. God dang it, the Kapunga Coffee. This is absurd how OP that item is. It's not that good in like something like competitive, but it's so good at the story! And a critical hit! How many critical hits are we gonna get? This is ridiculous. Ooh, almost level 12. And Giraffe! Our lovely, lovely Giraffe is level 8 now. That's amazing. Oh, come on! A stupid bird. Get out of my house. This isn't, we're not even in their house. What the crud. Um, anyway, we're gonna go over here for even though there's nothing really to do over here. I do want to show you guys something that is over here. So, we're gonna put our giraffe out for this. And, uh, as you can see... We... And look at that thing! Look at that guy! He is actually the evolution of our giraffe right here. So, it's pretty cool. So, someday, our babor, uh, or, or our giraffe, will actually evolve. Now, I, ax I put amphibian on the bench, which I don't want. I want Babor on the bench, or Giraffe on the bench. Anyway, before we end off the episode and go to Sylvan City, we have one more trainer battle to do. Are you ready, Sylvan City? Let's have a battle! No, I don't want to battle you. Actually, yeah, I do, for your EXP. In comes a Gecklo! In comes Amphibian! Fight! Wait, what? Why is Spray super effective? Isn't this thing an electric type? Shouldn't it resist it? Maybe that's just a glitch. What? Why is it super effective? That has to be a glitch, right? Uh, I guess I'll have to look at the wiki for that one. Maybe that was just a fluke or a glitch? With this one specific gecko in the game? Okay. 
Okay, good. We can test it on another Gekko. So in comes another level 8 Gekko. But no, it's still super effective. Why? Okay, maybe that's just an icon? What? Okay, yeah, I totally need to look at the wiki for that one. That is weird. Well, I'm, I'm not complaining, but that is weird. That should not be in there. Anyway, Gekko dies! Or fades it. Die? There we go. Bench Nubians EXP. No one level up! Come on! Stick a giraffe. You need to level up. Anyway, here we go. Sylvent City! We're going to go into there. And there we go. And look at how big of a city this is! It's so lively. We have so many people. But most importantly, there is a Lumi Center so we can heal up our Lumians. So, I'm gonna end off the episode pretty soon. Although, I do want to tell you one specific tip that you can do in game. So, we're going to tell you how to do that. Anyway, we're gonna heal up our Lumians. There we go, that big green check mark means we're done. And we are heading out of the center. refreshing. And by the way, there is the gym, as you can see where the mouse is hovering, there's the gym. Anyway, remember how I said we're gonna grind stinking, um, dripple? That doesn't mean we're gonna grind him in a cheese grater. What that actually means is we're going to level him up, just go into the grass and encounter wild lumians and just fight them and you'll get EXP! Which is good, because then we can level up our lumians because I think we might be very, very under so in the next episode, if you see my, um, Twiddle, eh, or if you see my Lumians and they're way higher level, your eyes are not deceiving you, um, that is actually in game. I actually just grinded them up. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode of, uh, Lumian Legacy. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I am Typhoon Zack, and this is Lumian Legacy, episode three.